Piney Prepper Bill. Today is April, Tuesday, April something 2021. Uh, a couple things I want to do a video on and I start working on one, something else pops up and then I go with my rant page and my rants. So I'm Instead of making one long video, I'm going to make a couple short ones. Um, one, like right now, I am on my way to Medford to get some bio bricks for the fireplace. We used to get some from Tractor Supply. We, we were running out of firewood. We had a couple pieces left. We went to get firewood today. Yeah, today's Tuesday because we had to go to the dump today. It's dump day. So we went and got wood, but it rained for the last four days straight. So most of the wood we got damp or wet. So we put some inside, some of the drier stuff. We have some fire starters left. But we were getting uh, those bio bricks from Tractor Supply. And if you get one or two of them going pretty good and it gets pretty hot, it dries out. You could throw some damp wood in there and it'll it'll catch so right now we got none of them we were buying them from tractor supply last year the year before and they worked pretty good they were like $3.99 or $3.49 for a pack I forget how many was in them but then they would burn they left no residue I mean you could burn them for a month and if you didn't have wood you could actually burn them and it would get hot but they stopped selling that brand and they have another brand that looks similar but they're horrible they don't burn hot they keep going out and they leave a, like a brick size of a brick of ash behind it just burns but it leaves like uh, all this residue so two three times a week i had to keep shoveling that thing out the stove out so we weren't buying them i guess middle of last year we stopped buying but a place in Medford, Spots Hardware in Medford, they sell another brand. They're smaller, compressed, uh, what is it, compressed, compressed board, compressed sawdust, and they burn really good. And with damp wood, burn one or two of them, and it'll, once you get going, you can throw some damp wood in there, it'll dry it out, it'll burn. I don't know if you can hear this or not. I got... trying to get some air in his truck but I'm going to get some of these bio bricks see what happens but a couple of videos I want to make one is noisy or nosy neighbors mind your own business and some people just got to uh, be held accountable for their own actions we've got a little church in town that because of this pandemic uh, nobody's allowed to go there. They're just starting to open up and have a few people. And it's a tiny church anyway. I don't know how many people can fit in it, but it's, it's tiny. Well, they got a GoFundMe page trying to save the church. So we're all trying to do what we can for the church. Uh, a couple people in town uh, lost their jobs. And we noticed you know, they've been going to the food bank. Uh, a couple people were trying to help these neighbors out so we do what we can you know as a community but then you always have the idiots and the assholes we have a newspaper it's on the back okay. this is what i wanted to show you this is our paper pine barons tribune okay here we go if i can find this on the internet i will but it says Committee gives resident approval to place gates, fencing, uh, gates and fencing at site of controversial clear cut to further restrict access. Now see that they want to block it. People are back there. It, it's ridiculous. Officials in Woodland Township have given formal approval to a resident's plan to further restrict access to the land he controversially ordered cleared nearly two years ago, which is now reportedly serving as a haven 
for off-roaders, dirt bikes, ATV enthusiasts, motorcyclists, and now even horseback riders, despite recently installed dirt mounds. What happens if someone gets hurt on these so-called fire brakes, and who is responsible? Is it the township? Okay, the mayor, uh, William DeGroff, at his latest committee session, DeGroff contended that he does not think the township is responsible because it's private property. Whoever owns the property should be responsible at a township solicitor, William Burns. But Hatfield, remember Hatfield and McCoy's? Hatfield pointed out that Worrell opened three or four township streets, further raising the question if they are theoretically no longer just paper streets, but now actual public streets. And here's another one. Here we go. Read this one. Gunshots heard in wood gunshots heard in woodland prompt poaching concerns. Lighting of US flag at town hall faces renewed criticism. Woodland officials okay officials in Woodland Township have apparently received several recent complaints regarding gunshots heard in the municipality. Mayor William DeGroff confirmed at a March Township Committee meeting that both he and the township clerk, Mary Alice Brown, had discussed the complaints during a recent meeting with the commander of the local New Jersey State Police Barracks. The township, he said, is unable to dispatch its code enforcement officer to investigate the complaints given the nature of them, and urged residents to instead call 911 to have the state police dispatch to further investigate the source. He said residents also can contact the Division of Fish and Game Conservation Police with such complaints. Last night, I was sitting on my deck at, and there had to be 30 to 45, I don't know, 30 to 35 gunshots throughout a period between 8.45 and 9.30, or for an hour. The woman added that she suspected that individuals are poaching in the woods. I don't know what these people are doing out in the, at the nighttime, she said. I think they might be truck-loading deer. DeGroff noted that under township law, individuals can shoot their guns for approved hunting activities or practicing purposes until 9 p.m. each day. So, these people, these gunshots, are between 8.45 and 9.30, but you're allowed to shoot until 9. So... The committee also heard a complaint for the third time in less than a year about the municipal building's U.S. flag being not properly displayed during the nighttime hours. I've been by the township building several nights and the flag is still not lit properly and you are, not, you are still not taking it down in the evening and putting it back up in the morning, said a resident. I won't say his name. DeGroff replied that he had a discussion with Brown about getting a big solar light and installing it at the top of the flagpole, blah, blah, blah. Is this, this is all petty bullshit? All this stuff going on in the world. People dying, people losing their jobs, and people not eating. And it's deer problem. We need to kill more deer. Oh my God, I think people are killing, killing deer. And you have all these people, all this stuff going on in the community and people having hardships. Last year, they're pitching that there's too many deer. People keep hitting the deer. We have a deer problem. They want to change the law so you're allowed. They wanted to extend the hunting season, make it so you can hunt more deer. And now this lady's pitching, saying that at night she's hearing gunshots seven eight o'clock at night she's calling the police and she thinks there's people poaching out in the woods well one a lot of people are hungry and don't have food so maybe they need the food you know maybe they need the deer meat so keep your mouth shut it's not affecting you they're not shooting your house they're not shooting your dog oh great construction okay i guess i'm not going that way and the deer problem. I mean, people are hitting deer left and right. People are complaining about the deer. 
So if these people, they're not killing the deer and leaving them on the side of the road, she doesn't even know if that's what they're doing. And she called the township, the township hall, and it's in the newspaper that if you hear something, call the police. But in our area, I made a mistake in my other video. We never did. But they say, the neighbor said, if you want to shoot your gun, you call the state police and tell them what you're doing. Well, according to the newspaper, we never did. We don't really shoot that much anyway, but what we did, we just did it. Well, evidently, the state police says, don't call them. You're allowed to hunt on your own property, and you're allowed to practice and target shoot on your own property. So there's that, you know, you, with all this stuff going on, we're in a pandemic, but we need to put a light on the flag. It's not illuminated enough. You need to take care of that. It wasn't done the last two meetings. Somebody brought it up, and it wasn't taken care of. Are you serious? And another guy was building property, clearing property for a house or something, and it's not done yet. Somebody, keep, it's the same woman, keeps complaining that now the property, people are riding quads back there and horseback riding. And if somebody gets hurt, who's responsible? And the mayor said that it's, if, if you're trespassing and you get hurt, that's your responsibility. And somebody else on the board said, no, it's, it's the homeowner, whoever owns the property. Regardless, if he's got the road barricaded off and you can't get back there, if you cut it or jump it, go around it, and you get hurt, you should be held accountable for your own actions. If you get hurt, they should be able to sue you, and you should get a ticket, and you should get arrested. I, I don't understand these people. Well, I'm here. Got here quick. Man, I hope they're open. I don't see many people here. All right, people, I'll be right back. I'm going to go in and get these bio bricks. All right, I just came out. Well, I went to Spots Hardware. I got those uh, bio bricks, whatever you want to call them, and I just pulled over before I get involved in the other video. I'll show these to you. Uh, it's actually called firewood. They're called firewood. Firewood bioblocks.com. 100% all natural kiln dried hardwood sawdust. 12 count. And here's these bricks right here. I don't know if that's SWI. Or IMS. There's the bio brick. A little fire starter. People got too much time on their hands to bitch and complain, and it's ridiculous. That was the main thing I wanted to talk about. People got to be held accountable. Stop your bitching and complaining. If you don't like it, you live out in the middle of nowhere, move. You know, I got a problem if you live in a city and you move out in the middle of nowhere, and you want that to change to be like the city. I don't want to drive 45 minutes to the store. I want it in walking distance. I think we ought to have traffic light there. I think we should widen the road. I think we should put a light in every corner so people don't get hit. It's been enough. Growing up, the school bus went to every corner. Every other corner, depending on where the neighborhood was. We had to walk to that corner or walk all the way that way to where your other friends were and to catch the bus. Now the bus is stopped at every freaking house. You know, stop being a pussy. They stop at every other house, and the kids aren't out there waiting for the bus. No, they wait in the house. It's too hot. It's too cold. I'm going to stay inside and play Nintendo. Oh, the bus is here? All right. And then they're like, oh, let me get my jacket. Let me get my book bag. Each kid takes five minutes to get to the freaking bus. All right, you pull up. If you're not outside, keep going. Get a ride to work or get a ride to school. Walk to school. That's rant. So... Yeah, the newspaper, these people bitching, and that just got me pissed the hell off. What do you think about people in your neighborhood? Should people mind their own business? Ah. So this is the end of video number one. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll be back in a couple minutes with another video.